This used to be clear. How do folks? Welcome to Diggle Diaries for July 2024 and a little bit of June as well. This is part one for the first two weeks of July. Let's roll the intro and we'll get on with it. Cheers. I'm out here waiting for two GBRF 57s. The ones that incidentally you will see at the start of this video, thanks to the guys. I mean, it always happens. Any long time viewers of the channel will know, every time I go on holiday, so much happens that I miss. But fortunately, Will and Josh were here, part of our wider Diggle Junction team to be able to catch everything that came through. We've got these GBRF 57s that took a 185 up to down to Old Dolby, the test track there. I think they're doing some signalling uh, testing on it or something like that. But um, yeah, so that was great to see at Stockport there, thanks to Josh. Will also managed to catch 37425 taking a 26 and a 20 to the East Lanks Railway Diesel Gala that I missed. And um, Josh got a couple of the convoys leaving the Keithley and Worth Valley as well that you will have seen in the last Diggle Diaries, some of the stuff. That beautiful new livery on 37250 in EWS. We've got a couple, the couple of the 50s, Rodney and Thunderer. What else did we get? Oh, we got a nice Western duo in 69009 and Western Champion as well leaving. That was really great to get at Woodlesford. We've had the usual stuff down here in the meantime at Diggle. We've had the freight, some Freightliner moves, which have been nice. DRS have been sending some of their locos over to Leeds Balm Road Freightliner's uh, lathe that they've got there for um, tyre turning, which has been nice. So we've had a, a shed sandwich with two 68s and 6808, which I think is the Chilton standby loco as well. So that's nice to get up here. So that's not usually out and about, you know, outside of the south. There's been plenty. It's been a really good episode. I hope you enjoy it anyway. Don't forget to leave a like if you do. And we're finally at a point where we can announce the 5,000 subscriber special. We're at 6,000 already. I owe you two. Thanks so much. The channel's growing so quickly. But um, for 5,000, we're going to redo what we wanted to do for 2,000, which is Tamworth. It's probably one of the hardest 24-hour specials we'll be able to do. The high level and the low level don't show up on either of the same thing each. I'm going to need two tracks open. I'm going to need two real-time trains open. And it's so busy all throughout the night, just like Stafford was. We're going to be following stuff. We're not going to miss anything, hopefully. We'll probably miss something. But uh, we'll be doing that for 5,000 subscribers, 24 hours there. So if you're not subscribed already, you don't want to miss that. Make sure you subscribe. We'll be filming that in the next two or three weeks. I'll let you know sooner a bit close to the time in case you want to come down and say hello if you're local and then I'll start thinking about the 6,000 and we'll do that pretty sharpish so we can try and catch up anyway. Thanks very much for all the support recently, it's been fantastic, I think that'll be a great video, we'll have a giveaway as well in the 24 hour special as usual and since this is 5k I think we're going to need a pretty special one, you don't want to miss that. I will see you at the end of this video, thanks very much for watching, cheers.
I'm still bloody waiting for these 57s. It's uh, a, as usual, TPE's running late and they're holding him at Staley Bridge, but it'll be along soon. Just need to, uh, I shouldn't have worn shorts. I didn't realize it'd be so overgrown here. I've not been to this spot for a while, <laughs> but uh, God damn it. Anyway, thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like if you did. And remember to subscribe for that 24 hours at Tamworth coming up. It's going to be bloody epic. I know it is. There's going to be so much going through there. On that high level, you get all the stuff going from Derby and the low levels, the usual busyness of the West Coast mainline. I think it's going to be great. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in a couple of weeks for another Diggle Diaries, if not before, for something else. Weather seems to be getting a little bit better now, although touch wood that the tripod is uh, resting on. Hopefully summer's finally here and I can stop wearing my big overcoats and rain jackets and all that stuff. I'll see you soon. Cheers.